Hi, my name is Neil Naidu. I'm with the Blue Planet Project, and I'm here to talk to you today about the connections between water and climate change. We know there's a global crisis happening in climate change. We know of desertification, glaciers melting, rivers that don't reach the sea, uh, the soil uh, levels of moisture being reduced. All of this is happening on an increasing rate. What we, I'm here to tell you today is that water is intrinsic to all of this. Uh, without uh, looking at water and water justice, we cannot hope to deal with the global climate crisis. The reason is, is that the connection between water and climate is so close, it relates to the uh, sequestration of, of carbon naturally. Without water, you cannot grow vegetation, of course, which locks in carbon. Uh, without water, the soil levels uh, become dry and the sun, when it hits the soil, actually heats up the land and heats the, the air, rather than being used uh, to grow things and actually to cause transpiration and move the water around. So the physics are quite simple on this, and um, Slovakian hydrologist Michael Kravchik has done a lot of great work on this. Uh, the way he terms it is, is that you need the blue energy of uh, the water to combine with the solar energy, the yellow energy, to provide the green energy. And uh, the green energy is what locks in the carbon and actually gives us a healthy ecosystem. So we, as water justice activists, uh, are focused on the, for certainly stopping the false solutions uh, that we believe we're seeing in, uh, in the UNFCCC climate summit uh, deliberations, the false solutions that are represented in the, in the green economy in the Rio Plus 20. Uh, we are concerned that instead of looking at uh, water justice equaling climate justice, what's happening is, is that the false solutions are going to harm uh, our, the way we steward our water and exacerbate the crisis. We need to, to look at this from a community level. We need to deal with it on a, what's called a micro hydrological cycle level, understanding that there's not just one large hydrological cycle, there are many hydrological cycles. And if we don't respect those, we actually exacerbate the, the problem and we get a domino effect. So we want to focus on, on community level based management of water. We want to focus on watershed. We want to focus on retaining moisture in the soil. We want to use what is called mitigation through water justice to reverse climate change. We believe that's the only way that this can happen. We need to, of course, reduce our CO2 levels and the greenhouse gases that we're putting into the air. But if we, at the same time we don't also respect our water, we're going to actually be in a reverse loop that's going to create uh, more and more problems and we're not going to deal fundamentally with reversing uh, climate change. Water and climate change are linked inextricably. We need to deal with uh, the 50 million environmental refugees that are being caused by the climate crisis and by a lack of water justice. But the problem is, is that if we do use these false solutions, we will push more people off the land. When I'm talking about false solutions, we do not want to see commodification of water. We do not want to see water markets and property rights for water. Big dams uh, that displace people are an issue as well. We have a lot of positive solutions that we can point to in places like Rajasthan, India with the work of Rajendra Singh, in places like Slovakia with the work of Michael uh, Kravchik. We have to go back to that level of on the ground participation, on the ground uh, keeping water in the soil on a very basic level, uh, raising the water tables, rejuvenating our, our aquifers, keeping our rivers flowing and our lakes at a healthy level. If we don't do that, we're going to create more and more problems even if we deal with the greenhouse gases and the CO2 issue uh, and we know we have to do that as well. So my message to you is that climate justice equals water justice and we hope that this gets taken very seriously both at the climate summit in Durban that's upcoming and at Rio Plus 20. Thank you.